So listen. It's never going to be the same. It never will be the same. And whenever I tell you that, I want you to understand that I'm saying that with all the regret in the world. I, I wish that I could go back and re-experience the game. But the truth is that if I went back and I started playing Vanilla WoW today and I could erase all of my memories and I could experience Vanilla WoW today in the same way that I did in 2006, it would not be the same. It wouldn't. Because I've changed. It has. Like The world has changed. Uh, even without like all the, the tools and everything, it's changed. Uh, no, it's true. I, and I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but there it is. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't want to admit that for whatever fucking reason, but it's true. It is 110, 150, 120% true. You meet and play, it changes the dynamic. Well, no, here's the thing, right? Is that 14 years is so long, bro? Well, it is, right? And uh, w what I mean by that is like, whenever I was 16, here's an example. Whenever I was 16, I was just then, you know, like getting uh, to become an upperclassman in high school. I was just then turning into going from like a boy into a man, you know, and it was the first time that I was really stepping out into the world and interacting with people that were older than me and actually becoming part of the world at large rather than just a small group of friends and then school, right? I was actually interacting with people in like a normal way. I'm flying over to Feralass, by the way, guys. We're going to go over to Feralass. So let's go over to, um, shit, I, do I even have a flight path over there? Oh, I'll start right over here. Uh, by this quest line here, and uh, I should have gone over and got the flight path to that one place, but I guess I didn't do it. Oh well, who cares? Uh, yeah, then he became a streamer. Well, no, that's not really it. Um, so, oh yeah, I can go to Feather Moon. Okay, so I'll go over to Feather Moon. Let's fly over there. We'll start at Feather Moon, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, best way to slow most dead server you can find a dialogue connection and boom, original WoW. Well, the problem is like a young Asmongold back then was I, I I was continuously like not mocked or anything. I was never bullied really in school. Like people would like oh. Fuck you, dumbass, you have stupid shoes, but like, this isn't... Being teased about something stupid like that by a person you don't care about, I don't really consider this bullying, right? It's like, was I bullied in school? No, I was not bullied in school, okay? Like, it just didn't happen. Uh, no one really was in my school. So, uh, anyway, everybody... The, in my school, like, everybody just hated each other. So there was nobody that was, like, going to go, oh, man, I fucking... It's not like the jocks were, you know, hated, like, you know, the nerds. It's like... Everybody hated each other, and everybody also had friends in all of the other groups of people. So you had people, like, I was friends with people that were in, like, football and, you know, would play sports and shit like that. And then I was also friends with people that were continuously getting expelled and were, like, borderline gang members. Everybody just kind of interacted with everybody, and it wasn't any kind of a weird thing like you see in, like, the high school, you know, American movies. It just never happened that way. So, um, anyway, uh, this is the way it was going. And I remember there was this one guy on the bus, right? It was, like... There were three guys on the bus. One guy would wear the same shirt to school every single day for all four years of the, of the, of the of school year, right? I never saw him wear a different shirt. And I remember one time I saw him many years later, and the only reason I recognized him is that I could tell he was still wearing the same shirt. And then there was another guy who would only talk in, like, gangsta speak, and he was in a, a gang, and he would hold out, like, a red bandana whenever we were going home from the school because he was a, he was a blood. And uh, there was that guy, and then there was another guy who would only play EverQuest all the time, and uh, he would talk about it, and we would argue if WoW was better. Well, the four of us went to school, went, went to school, and went home from school together every single day. We were great friends. All four of us, we were great friends. Uh, we're like, hey, man, what's up, dude? Like, oh, I'm going to sit next to you today. Hey, man, how you going? We were, we were great friends, man. And uh, it was, you know, that's just the way it goes. And I, I feel like a lot of people were like that in my school like there would be like you know some nerdy kid and like some like super super gangster kid with like fucking his his pants down to his ankles with like you know jordans on with like a little fucking like weird shit in his hair with his t-shirt on and people used to leave the sticker on their t-shirt like hey yo what up bro and it was just i don't know it was a it was a weird school to be in and i guess like that kind of taught me like that's why i i don't really have a lot of enemies right and i don't know i can take shit in stride yeah they were just friends with each other everything was cool right and we would even like have some of them in my uh like in my computer class my or the computer teacher was the, also the high school football teacher and so like some of the football kids would come into class and they'd be like man 
y'all get to play video games in class? We gotta do work! And I'm like, yeah, dude, what up? Y'all wanna play? And then, like, we fucking play Counter-Strike with them. Oh, it was great. So, like, th this isn't the way that my, uh, my school was or anything. But, uh, anyway, like, I'm trying to remember what the, the original point was where I was even trying to get to. Uh, I'm trying to remember, this is how you avoid shootings? Well, we had some people that would, like, maybe bring a gun to school or call in a bomb threat or a knife. But it wasn't, like, a big deal, right? It's not like this is, like, nothing would ever really happen out of it. Because we, we had, like, a police station on the campus, so nobody ever wanted to try anything. Uh, so yeah, it never really happened. Uh, like, people would do it, we'd find out that it happened, but, you know, it would just kind of work itself out. So yeah, this is what we used to do all the time. So, like, back then, right, I was just a stupid fucking kid. I was a stupid fucking kid. And my entire life was like a perfect storm of being able to experience Vanilla WoW in the most meaningful way possible. Right? Being a kid. Just first coming of age. And all of the other things that were happening in my life kind of came together to make that experience what it was. I cannot relive that. It already happened. It can't happen twice. And I have to understand that. I knew that going into this game, I would never have the same experience that I did before. I do plan on making an alt. Actually, I, uh, I'm going to make an alt. I don't, I don't know. I want to play on one of the full servers. I'm going to make an alt where nobody knows really my name and I can just play the game without having a bunch of weird fucking bullshit happen. Right? But um, overall, the, the adventure and really never experienced anything exactly like that before twice. Yeah, exa yeah you never really experienced it like that twice. Um, like a young Asmongold, I wasn't taken seriously by anyone. I was a 16-year-old loser, and it had nothing really to do with me. All 16-year-olds are losers. It's like being a level 16, being, yeah, it's like being level 16 and wow. Nobody gives a fuck about you. You're not even high enough to go into dead mines. Dead mines is McDonald's, right, by the way, in real life, right? So you can't even go work at McDonald's. Basically, you're like, I don't know if we really want to take you. There's like eight other people that are 16 that want to work at this McDonald's too, right? So like, what are you really going to do? So you're sitting there trying to figure this shit out, trying to figure out your fucking life. You're just first realizing that you have your friends that are planning out, they're like, hey, I want to go and, you know, I want to be this, I want to be that. And they're talking about going to school and going to college. You have friends that have had girlfriends at that time, like three years. They're talking about actually, you know, being really serious and, you know, things get more serious between the two of them. And, you know, this is just... Life is progressing onward, and for me personally, I always felt like it wasn't really, like, it wasn't progressing for me. I was just sitting there, chilling, playing video games, and nobody really took me seriously. I would go to school, the teachers would treat me like a fucking idiot, because I was a fucking idiot. I mean, it's not like, oh, wow, you know, they're so mean to me. No, they're not mean to me. Uh, it's because I was a fucking idiot. And, um, anyway... So this is the way that it would work. And this happened for a long time. First video game you really got into because before Halo, Smash Brothers Halo. I played that a lot. And so anyway, yeah, uh, I was doing that. And then so the game comes out and it puts me on an even playing field for the first time in my life with anybody else, right? And it's not, you know, how smart they are, how old they are, what credentials they have or anything like that. The only thing that matters is the effort that I can put into the game versus the effort that they can put into the game. And whenever that was the case, I was able to come out ahead. And I think that gave me a certain amount of self-esteem that you can't really get anywhere else. And I think that's why the game was so fulfilling to me back then, and that's why I enjoyed it so much. Did you work between high school and streaming? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, when you first started playing, what made you pick Alliance? My friend wanted to play Paladin. Really just that simple. Literally, really just that simple. Full Halo playthrough whenever the games were released on PC. We'll see what happens, but I don't want to make any promises, okay? And now you have streamers taking stuff on another playing field? It will never be even. That's what the whole point of what I'm saying is that it will never be even. You can never go back. The world is different, and it will never be the same again. You can never go experience Super Smash Brothers Melee for the first time again. You can never go experience uh, uh, Halo 2 for the first time again. You can never graduate high school again, or maybe for some people the first time. You know, uh, you can never do it, and the admitting that and being able to look back on the experiences that you had 
and say, wow, this was incredible. That's the best that you can do. And that's why I always push for Vanilla Wow, is that I remember how important it was for me. I remember how meaningful it was for me. And because it was so meaningful and important for me, I wanted to make sure that this game could come out. And I know that it will never be the same, right? It will never be the same as it was. But it will be the closest thing that I can do, the best thing that I can do. Vanilla WoW helped me a lot in a number of things. It helped me learn how to make relationships with people. It helped me... Yeah, I'll change the song. I don't want to listen to this stupid ass song, dude. I'm going to put on a good song. No. No. That's a good one. I like this one. Um, it helped me forge relationships with people. It helped me first... Uh, this is the first time that I was actually part of an organization. Part of something that was bigger than myself. I joined my first guild. And I had to listen to what other people wanted me to do. Or I would get removed from the guild. I learned how to shut the fuck up and listen to what I was told to do. That's the truth. I shut the fuck up and I listened to what people told me to do. Period. It taught me how to type too. I remember I used to um, I, I used to spell a million things wrong. People would make fun of me and call me stupid. I'd get embarrassed about it. Then I'd stop spelling the things wrong. It taught me how to spell. It taught me all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things. Okay, elemental cores. Okay, we're good. Uh, are there any more quests that we need to pick up here? So all of these things like this, that they gave me the experience. And it was like, again, like the perfect storm for a person like me to have an actual Papega clap. Like, that was me. I was an actual Papega clap. Like, I would go around and just make weird noises and voice chat. And you know what? You know what I did? They yelled at me and they treated me like a fucking retard until I quit doing it. Because they said, you know what? We're tired of you acting like a fucking idiot. We don't want to deal with you anymore. So shut the fuck up and stop acting weird. Right? And I'm like, okay. Oh, oh okay. Okay, all right, wow. And it was the first time I ever really had anybody do that. You know, and I learned how to be part of something bigger than myself. And then on top of that, I, I learned basically the fulfillment of hard work. And I know it's a video game. I, I know it's a video game. So let let's go ahead and we're going to obviously just kind of assume that. Let me put you, I, I need to take a piss real quick and then I'm going to tell the rest of the story, okay? Uh, just a second. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that, boys. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I'll be good. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So, it was the first time, really, that I had ever had an opportunity to really step forward and step out and be myself. And... Not, you know, like, oh, what I'm supposed to be or anything like that, but just be myself. And it felt fucking good. I could do whatever the hell I wanted. I could be whoever the hell I wanted to be. And I could, if I wanted to be, I, 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 was, I felt truly able to be the true piece of shit, the real piece of shit that I was always meant to be. And, and, and that's the truth. I was always meant to be this piece of shit. And I finally, and wow, had the opportunity to do it. Roy, I think we can share the quest, man. Uh, yeah, I think we can share the quest. It's not a big deal. So I could go in there, and it's like, if I needed to do something, I needed an item, I'd get that fucking item, dude. I'd get that fucking item. It wouldn't matter what it would take. I'd make it happen. You know what I'm Yeah, we, we can share. We can share. Okay, and uh, then we'll just meet up over here. We'll be fine. Uh, have you ever heard of uh, Necro Goblatron? No, I haven't. Uh, so anyway, like, basically, this is what happened, is that I did this for quite a while. I was, you know, getting ready and, you know, all this other stuff and raiding. And then after a long way of, you know, doing all of this stuff and everything like that, I had... I, I, I had a realization. I thought, you know what? I've been in these groups a long time. I've been in these raids for a while. And I, I want to make sure that they're done the way I want them to be done. Now, after I raided and played with other people, and I thought to myself, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it myself. I started making my own raids. 
I started doing my own shit. I had my own guild. And I, I, I did for a little while. And then I joined another guild, right? And then I was doing raids for them too. And then I was actually running shit. And this was like 16, 17 years old. And then I, I had people that were like, as I said, like as, old, as, old, as old as my teachers, asking me what to do. And I was telling them what the fuck to do. And finally, after being treated like a retard my whole life, now, finally, people are starting to listen to me, right? And I felt so good about this. Uh, I mean, obviously, it gave me a lot of confidence because at least I was good at something. Uh, yeah, I was good at so Like always, well, hey, I mean, listen. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. If there's a 14-year-old out there, I'm going to treat him and talk to him like he's probably a retard, right? I'm just going to assume that and be like, okay, guy's probably a dipshit. You know, you know we'll, we'll put up with it, right? And uh, inspiration, yeah, really funny to hear stories. Not from stories are, well, yeah, so I... I first got into my guild and I started making these different uh, these different opportunities for myself and you know I got in and I was doing this stuff regularly. I was doing it all the time. Grab one from Goblin. I'm getting that one right now, okay? Alright, let's go. And uh, Russian Nervous is going to do Mass PvP. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, let's see here. Um, the mech is all... Uh, okay, so we need to get the, uh, the, the Shrinker and then we use the Shrinker on these guys right here, right? Uh, I think that's the way that it's supposed to work. Okay, uh, imagine normalizing wasting your way of life on games. Well, no, you're right. Um, like, if, if you... Here's the thing, right, is that... You're right. I think that everybody, like, imagine wasting your... I, I don't see how, like, wasting your life away on, like, on sports is really any better. Like, I, as far as I know, there are a lot of people that have died from, you know, like, heat exhaustion and, you know, have, have gotten, like, you know, chronic injuries from sports... And somehow that's considered better than video games. I mean, give me a fucking break. Uh, it doesn't matter what the avenue is. The avenue for it is completely irrelevant. What matters is the fact that it's happening. And uh, that's what I think is the most important thing overall. Uh, it's really a waste of time if it's something that you enjoy. Well, the thing is, is like the gain is internal. It's not something that happens, uh, you know, wait, do I need to get 15 of these? Oh, man, like, let's not do this one then. Uh, this is like, yeah, we need to get 15 of these giants. We have to find, like, what is this, like, 40 giants? It's going to take forever. Uh, let's go ahead and just do the other ones. I think they'll be a lot easier. Sunken Temple and Tanaris. Okay, we'll have to go over there again. Uh, water Elemental Cores. Okay, I guess we're going to have to farm these two. Yeah, we might as well just go down here and finish these up anyway. Uh, let's go get these out of the way. That was a problem I was worried over. Yeah, I mean, well, do we have to do this quest? I don't think that we really have to, right? Uh, maybe we do. I, d I don't really know. Okay, where's the miniaturization remote? Shit. Shit. Uh, where's the remote? Is it this one? Okay, good. God damn, dude. I was about to get my ass beat. Okay, we're fine. Imagine playing sports. These guys play sports. Well, no, what I'm saying, sports is the real characteristics. So you said WoW helped you? Well, no, I, I think that they do, right? Sports can do the same thing for somebody. I didn't say that they can't, but I'm saying that, like, that they can be... They can be one and the same for a lot of people, right? The same thing that people get out of sports, uh, I, I think that I got out of WoW in a lot of ways, right? And uh, I, I think that you can't just discount and say, like, oh, playing video games is unhealthy. Whenever people die from sports, like high school kids die from sports all the time. I'm pretty sure high school kids die from sports a lot more than they die from playing video games. I mean, like, let's be real. Uh, it's, it's completely disingenuous to say that. Uh, yeah, all the time. Well, I think it happens. And there's also, like, you know, like injuries that affect, like, lifelong injuries that they incur and everything like that. It's not just dying. I mean, that's, that's only the worst thing, right? Uh, not because they're unhealthy. Um, well, I think it's just in general that's the way it happens. We also die from sex. Well, no, I mean, but... It's a completely different paradigm. Like, it's a completely different paradigm. Okay, uh, people die from everything. But what I'm saying is, like, it's not like sports or anything else that you're doing is, is better. Right? I think that no matter what you do, if you're getting that out of something, then that's what matters. And it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're just getting it out of something. I care if my high school is paralyzed from a football practice? Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah, I don't see anybody getting paralyzed from WoW, right? I mean, come on. Like, it, it's just, uh, again, I think it's just, like, people that are trying to, like, dis discount, like, video games. They think video games are stupid, right? Yetis and Ogres would be the best. Okay, you guys want to do the Yetis and the Ogres? Uh, I figure, like, yeah. Yeah, let's do Yetis and Ogres. Okay, uh, we're following you. Let's go. Socially paralyzed from playing? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, in WoW, you become socially paralyzed. I actually think that, um, uh, I think that, I probably got better at socializing because of WoW and not worse. 
because I got used to interacting with people and talking to people and initiating conversations and uh, different stuff like that. I probably got a lot better at, uh, at doing that kind of stuff from WoW versus uh, not WoW, you know? Uh, Nods for Paralysis, check apes. Uh, when are you going to join the official Olympus Discord we set up? Uh, I, I will try to join it tonight, okay? How about that? Uh